I don't know how to explain this properly, but um, I, I just um, just just watch and, and follow it through. I I try to explain this several times, but I I find it really hard to do. It. So look at this red line here. The equation for this red line here is y equals um, x minus two squared. Now um, imagine this as being a bubble here, squared. But the thing is, we are putting um, x minus two into this bubble here. So you see, you you can visualize this this red line as as a function, okay? F well, you, you can visualize this red line as something uh, something squared, okay? But the thing is, we are going to put um, my, uh, x minus two into this something, so we are going to put something into the function. It's really hard for me to explain this, but hang on. At the moment, you've got y equals x minus two squared. Now, what I'm trying to say is, imagine it as a, as being a bubble squ um, squared, but now we are putting um, x minus two into that bubble, so it becomes this, this whole thing here. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that if you start off with f of x here, okay, this blue line is f of x. Now, re remember when, when you put something, when you put um, x minus two over here. You shift the whole thing across by two, okay? So, so, um, so start. Imagine, imagine you did another formula for this equation here. You could start with the formula for this equation, which is, which is, um, let, let's say f of x uh, equals x squared here, okay? So, so this is this is uh, x squared here. This uh, this quadratic here. Now, you are, you are in effect moving everything across by uh, by two, okay? So this bit here. Get get moved across by two. Let's say this point here. Uh, so, sorry. Let's say uh, this point here. We get moved across by two. Uh, this point here. We get moved across by two. So everything because everything's being shifted across by two. You could actually put. You could actually say this this thing here would be f of um, x minus two. Um, where 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 f of x is uh, is x squared? It's hard for me to explain. Um, let, let let me show you uh, another example here. So you see this red line here. Um, imagine well. Let, let's say we we um, we don't know the equation for this red line here, but we can get to the equation. Start off by by um, well. You you know that this is uh, we'll start off with um, f. At, at the moment, this purple line here is f of x. The function f of x equals x squared here. Now, what what we do is we we move the function across by by oops we move the the equation across by uh, by two, okay. We move it across by two, and then later we 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 can shift it up by by one, okay. Because uh, from from here to here is one. Well, hang on, let, let me just put it back. So so wait there, bear with me. So here at the moment is f of x, um, f of x, f of x equals x squared. Now we want to somehow get to um, to this this point here. Well, anyway, um, so so here you would put first we first we want to shift it across by two. So um, so shifting across by two is us putting putting um, x minus two into the x here. So so shifting across by two. Hang on. Shifting it across by two would would give us this would give us um, f of uh, x minus two, okay, and and then later on, um, so so shifting across by two is this. Hang on, shifting across by two would be this, and then and then um, and then late and then we we need to add one. So so and then we need to add one just just so that we um, we can move that out. Um, yeah, so so we, we need to add one. So so the red line here can be um, can be uh, given by this here. So when when we first started out, it was f of x uh, equals x squared. Now now we want to apply these two transformations here. So first you you would put um, you would put x minus two into the x here. So um, so this one here will become well. Remember at the moment you've got. Uh, at the moment, you've got um, you've got the bubble here, 
you've got a bubble here squared. But then because we want to put um, x minus 2 into there, so this, well, we're putting x minus 2 into here, and then we've got to square it. And then later on, we, we've got to add 1. So later on, we've got to add 1. So you see, this, this red line here, let's, let's call it R for red, red of x here, we, is given by this. So the red line, the, the red line, let's say R, the function R of x, uh, equals is equal to um, to x minus two squared and then plus one. I I know I, it's hard for me to explain this, but um, I I will I'll give you more more examples on this. But my my point is that you can apply transformations. Um, you can apply your trans. Well, the, the the red line here is given by this. Okay, I, I will give you more examples over time. It will make sense. Okay.